Welcome to Field Education. My name is Therese jones mutton and I'm the Field Education Coordinator for the Social Work courses. Going out on placement will be one of the most rewarding and memorable experiences that you will have as part of your sub studies. And it's our job to ensure that you are ready and have the necessary foundational skills to manage some of the challenges that may present to you whilst undertaking your placement. There are many different people that are involved in your learning in field education, but be assured that the Workplace Learning Office and myself are a good starting point and we can assist you with your inquiries and putting you in touch with the academic that you are currently working with. Field education is a complex organisational process, believe me, <laughs> and due to the many parties that are involved. So keep this in mind when you're considering your interactions with the field education team. We have over 200 students that go out on placement each year at different times and students have varying needs and requirements as do the agencies and matching you all up and um, ensuring that your needs are being met can be quite challenging at times. Added to this is the fact that the field education placement um, process is quite competitive, particularly in our larger centres like Sydney, Melbourne, Newcastle and Wollongong. In some areas, other universities are reporting that they're unable to fill um, all the requirements they have for placements and many students go without. We have fortunately not had this issue in our area and this has been due to the flexibility of um, timing and so forth but please keep this in mind. We do everything we can to locate a worthwhile a placement that's a worthwhile learning experience. And while your pre preferences are considered, it's not always possible for us to offer these placements to you in the time frames that you require. So the key things that you need to remember are that we may have one placement offered to us and five students wanting to go there. So we may have to make a decision about who is the most suitable person and this will be based on their learning, on your learning needs. Do not canvas for your own placement. Placement allocations are centralised in many agencies like health and family and community services and agencies do not appreciate students that approach them directly. Placements are very competitive and these systems are put in place to make sure everyone has a fair and equal access to a placement. It's also important that you pro engage in the process and you have regular email contact with the academic sourcing and managing your placement. The academic staff involved with you are assessing your suitability for professional practice at all times. Your professional practice journey actually starts when you enrol in this subject. The academic staff will provide you with feedback around your resume, your writing style and your communication with them and with other parties. Finally, be realistic about the timeframes that are required for placement and consider this when you're planning your life and major events to occur. In the last 12 months, we've had some very challenging times sourcing placements for people who are expecting a baby, planning an overseas trip or their wedding. So give this some consideration when you put in your uh, preferences. One of the biggest challenges in field education for you will be managing your studies, your work, your placement and your family. Some of the accommodations that you will need to make will impact on you and your family significantly either via financial issues or emotional stress. Placement is a valuable opportunity to consider the work-life balance and I would encourage you to consider how you're going to be managing those things in the planning process. And lastly, I'd just like to say, try not to be too prescriptive in your expectations about placement. Sometimes the valuable things that you will learn on placement are not the things that you expected to. I would just like to conclude by uh, again welcoming you to Field Education and I look forward to meeting you when you come to residential school. Take care and all the best.